Hey, I just wanted to make this quick video. Um, I know I always say that. Uh, this one's going to be quick for real. The church is so fake today, man. Like, I don't know how else to say that. There's people that really do not know God trying to tell you how to live for God. There's people that do not read their Bible trying to tell you about what's in the Bible. It makes no sense. And most of you guys that be watching these videos probably believe them because y'all go from video to video to person to person, ministry to ministry, trying to find something you already know. The gospel is simple. Christ is is simple. His message is very plain. Come follow me. Live by faith, not by sight. Live by faith, not by sight. Faith is hard. It's simple, but it's hard. Faith is usually doing the things that you know to do, but you are either too afraid to do or you just don't want to do. It's hard loving our spouse when they're being irrational are not being kind for a moment. It's hard loving our children when they're being extra and just doing the most. It's hard loving ourselves sometimes when we're just, our emotions are all over the place. <laughs> it's hard um, being kind to strangers or uh, to coworkers or people cutting you off in traffic. It's just hard to live this life. Like, would, would y'all not agree? This life is a hard place to live sometimes. And there's so much stuff that's baked in to the message of Christianity these days that tells you, you get saved, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. It becomes like an Oprah gospel and everyone's getting cars. Everyone's getting blessed. Everyone's getting promoted. Well, how come I'm not getting promoted? How come I'm going to, am I, am I doing something wrong here or something? Am I, is it only me that happens to be, be passed over for promotion that gets passed over by people and, when when they, when they don't see the good works I'm trying to do for them, and I actually not only get passed over, I get penalized for the good works. You get what I'm saying? No, it's not just me. This suffering is going to all the brethren worldwide. It's going, when I say brethren, I mean brothers and sisters. All the true people in faith is that you'll be persecuted. Matthew 5, you're going to be persecuted for your faith, for my name's sake, and for the gospel's sake. This is normal. I know they tell you it's not normal. It's because they don't know their Bible. And the ones that do know their Bible, they don't like the Bible. They don't believe it. They don't like it. They add to it so they can promote their new product, promote uh, getting that tithe money, uh, promote their little service or their retreat, retreat for, to teach you five new principles about things they came up with. Uh, you know, when they were just at their coffee table late at night, they're like, oh, I'm going to preach this thing that's not really in the bible i'm gonna cut this out with a chainsaw this random verse that um talks about a vision oh amos three or seven whatever that is amos three i'm gonna talk about the, the part where it's talking about vision and i'm not a prophet but i'm just gonna make it seem like it's talking about me because i have an idea that i'm gonna claim as a vision from god when it has nothing to do with the context of not just that verse but anything in the bible they don't know their Bible. They think vision is literally them just coming up with an idea. They think that's a vision. Not a vision. They don't know their Bible. But you fall for it because you go to ministry, to ministry, and you listen to everyone trying to find something you already know. For 13 years, I knew what I was supposed to be doing in Christ. But yet, I kept running to Brian Trejo. Oh, he's so spiritual. Listen, I, I run to, T, oh, what is T.D. Jake saying? Oh, I run to, oh, Stephen Furtick has this message. Oh, I need to get more serious about the gospel. Oh, John MacArthur, John MacArthur, Paul Washer. Oh, my, Francis Chan, Matt Chandler, John Piper. Go everywhere from A to Z. Lutheran churches, Baptist church. I need to go to a black church. Oh, maybe they're more relevant. I need to go to a white church. The black church is doing too much. They're dancing too much. Let me go to a white church. Maybe, let me go to an Asian church. Maybe an Asian church will make more sense because that's out of my comfort zone. Maybe I'll get the gospel there. You go everywhere like Jonah, except for Nineveh. You're supposed to go to Nineveh to preach the gospel to the Ninevites and tell them to repent and, re and believe in Christ. Not literally the Ninevites now. Of course. You get what I'm saying? The the modern day version of what you're supposed to be doing as Jonah, you're supposed to go and just preach to who you're supposed to preach to, whether that's your job, whether that's the little 
convenience store you go to all the time, every single day, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. So you're trying to find excuses for why you are not having breakthrough in Christ. You're being disobedient. So you're going to all these ministries that are telling you that you need to fast and speak in tongues and you need to give tithe money and sow seeds and buy this book. and buy... You don't believe Christ because you don't want to believe Christ. And that's why you're deceived. The, the great deception is your own conscience, not loving God. And so I'm simply trying to tell you because me was the same person as you are. I was doing the same thing that you were doing. That's why I'm giving you this message because I know you're running to and fro trying to find the right message. So I'm simply trying to tell you in this video, stop running everywhere. Run to Christ. Stop being the Israelites in the desert. Run to Christ. The message is simple. It's hard, but it's rewarding. When you suffer for Christ, suffering doesn't just have to be you losing a job or losing a limb or losing a loved one. It could simply be you not getting to eat out. I know it sounds so simple, but you not eating fast food all the time. Are you having to cook your meals at home? I know it sounds so simple and basic, but that could be a suffering for you because maybe that means you're spending less money at home. And that means that you can actually work a different job, that you have more peace, more time for your family, more, yeah, just peace of mind to read your Bible and do some other things. Maybe it's working a different job where you can have a better opportunity to minister. One big opportunity I missed out on years ago, my pastor um, in Chicago, he told me, uh, are you sure you want to leave your job at Walmart T? It seems like you have such a good thing going on there. Are you sure you want to leave? I, I know you don't make that much, but it seems like you're really making a difference. But I just wanted to leave. I wanted to make some more money. I just wanted to get out. I just wanted to go do whatever I was doing. So I got out made more money, all this stuff. The cycle continues. Me leaving a good job where I'm, or le leaving a job where I'm actually having more of a kingdom impact so I can make more money. Well, guess what? Me making more money does not always mean me having more peace. There's been times I have had a balance. There's a job where I'm making decent and having an impact for the kingdom. But that came with some suffering. That came with some persecution being there. It came with me sticking my chest out a little bit for Christ and saying, if y'all going to swing, swing at me, but I'm going to stand bold for Christ. I'm not literally saying swing at me like people. I'm just saying swing their, their insults or swing their whatever it was. You get what I'm saying? I hope that I'm not going to make this message more than nine minutes. I hope this message hit home for you. I hope you stop running to every one of my videos or anyone else's videos, get in your word. Start praying every day, unceasingly, like Paul says. Be an intercessor for other people. Start believing the words of God and stop trying to believe science and counselors and all these other people. Believe God himself and just do the simple things, man. If you're faithful and little, God will give you much. That's the simplest thing I can tell you, man. And that's what I've been challenging myself to live on. This is not just a message for you. This is a message for me, too. For me to live on faith and do the simple things that God has me to do. So when I say look up, it means keep your eyes on Christ, on the things above. We are in this world of his kingdom, in the kingdom of Christ now. We're not citizens of this state or this city or this country. We are citizens of the kingdom of God. We just happen to live in whatever place we live in. So on that note, God bless you. God keep you getting the word. Bless yourself, man, with, with the word. You know what I mean? Anyways, peace.